Hi Cruises and welcome back. As promised, I've got a YouTube movie here which refreshes what you've just learned in the sessions on how to produce a movie using Google Earth Pro. Now remember, it's a two-part process. The first process is to create a tour. That's where you go online, find the places you want to go to, sequence them, set up the camera angles, and save that as a tour. The second part involves compiling the tour, saving it as a movie. And that's producing the movie, another step in the process. Okay, first, let's create our tour. To do that, we need to have a folder in which the tour will be nested. So we'll go over here to Temporary Places and add a folder. And we'll call that Istanbul to Barcelona. Great. Within this folder, our places will nest. Okay, so where are we going to go first? Let's go to Istanbul. And it comes right up when we go in the search window here. Tell it to search for it. And it's going to bring us right to Istanbul. Let the program do all the work. Let it bring us there. And then we're going to get rid of that red flag and the word just by clicking that X there. And you know what? I want to get in a little bit closer. Perfect. That's the shot I want. And so we have to place a place mark right here. We'll click on that. And the place mark window opens up, as you can see. Problem is, this thing's flashing. We've got a push pin. We've got a title. I want to get rid of that. So we go to Style and Color, and we bring both of this down to zero. And it disappears. However, our place mark is still there. So our place mark is called, well, for now, Untitled. Let's change that and call that Istanbul. Perfect. Next, we want to go to Venice. Click on search. Let's get a closer view here. It's absolutely incredible. And you know what? What we'll do is we're going to change our view by really tilting back the horizon. What this does is it tilts back that horizon. Look at that. And we'll zoom right in there. Maybe change the orientation of north-south to fit more of the island in. Just like that. And we'll remove that place marker. Great image. Okay, and we'll remember this as the Venice Island. But, you know, going to Venice without visiting St. Mark's Square is probably something one should not do. So let us go right into St. Mark's Square here. Incredible photography. However, the photographs are flat. You could, if you want, insert three-dimensional models that people have made to give you more of a feel of the richness of depth. And to do that, we go to these layers and we look for 3D buildings and we click on 3D buildings and look what happens. Venice gets populated with 3D buildings. Is that incredible? Let's get a little bit closer in our view. Fantastic. And change that a little bit. Obviously, this is a great image. The downside, however, is when you populate your image with these 3D models, it requires a lot of processing speed, memory, and time. Uh, and so for now, we don't have all that, so I'm going to turn off the buildings. But you know where to find them, right here. Same way you can go down to Terrain and add Terrain to the map. Again, it's going to take a little bit more processing, time, and memory, but the final product will be worth it. So let's turn off 3D for now. There we go. And we'll put a place mark here and we'll call that St. Mark's. Alrighty. 
let's now go to our final location and that is Barcelona Spain so say goodbye to St. Mark's in Hola España once again we're going to go a little bit closer in on that and I do want to change my Vantage, we're going to drop down that horizon a little bit. Oh, that looks great. And change our direction. Maybe just like that. Fantastic. And that will be our final shot. Let's put a place mark here. And call that. Barcelona. Oh, look, I forgot that. Well, let's get rid of that. All right. And seem to have jumped into a different file. So we're going to put those right back here. All righty. So right now, we have the places we want to visit Istanbul, Venice Island, St. Mark's, and Barcelona. Next, we need to make a tour. So we're going to go up here to the tour icon, click on the tour. And this red button will let us start recording the tour. We can add sound to it and we can watch as the time goes by. But what we want to do is get back to our first location, Istanbul. That's where our tour will begin. Just as we set it. Okay, let's make our tour. We'll start recording right now. It's recording. So we'll sit on Istanbul for a moment. Then clicking on Venice Island will get us across Europe to Venice and the vantage that we just selected a moment ago. How about we zoom in now on St. Mark's? Click on St. Mark's. Excellent. Then let's go to Barcelona. All right, our tour is complete, so we'll go and press that red and white button, and it stops it. And notice that the tour is in here. One thing you need to do is save your tour. So we're going to go to this save icon right here, and we'll save the tour as Istanbul to Barcelona. Okay, that was part one. We'll close that down. The next part involves producing the movie. So we'll go up here to where it says tools, go down to movie maker. And we have a new window that opens up here. And the window gives us various characteristics of the movie that we're going to be making. The style of the movie, the quality. We're going to go for 30 frames per second. You've got a choice of different ones. 30 is smooth. Uh, it's nice, especially my computer is powerful enough that it can really create a nice file folder of these 30 frames per second in high quality. Okay, Istanbul to Barcelona, that looks like the save tour we want to look at. And we're going to save that in our Viking Movies folder, and we'll call it Istanbul to Barcelona. Okay, and so we'll create the movie. And the movie will start compiling the frames right now. Here we go. Notice that while the movie is compiling, you can see where you're going. And the beauty of compiling the movie from a tour which you've been created and not doing it online in real time is that the computer can wait and make sure that it has all of the frame information so the frame is fully formed as opposed to a frame which has low resolution which you're doing on the fly nice 
So we have about 30% of the movie produced already. And remember, we are now producing a movie that does not have terrain. It does not have 3D buildings. If we wanted those, all we had to do was click that in the layers. We could have also added borders and labels, places, roads, even more information. And that's all available to you under that title saying layers, that window on the left, bottom left. And here we are at St. Mark's. Almost about two-thirds done with making the movie. Now, once the movie is made, you can bring this movie into other programs where you might want to add titles. You might want to add a narration to it. You might, in fact, if your editing skills are good, insert your own photos into the tour. So you can take somebody from one place to another when you get there. You can pause the animated tour of Google Pro and insert a slide chain, a sequence of the pictures, the images that you've captured of that location. Remember, it's all up to you. Really, this program is incredible, and what it gives you, the user, is incredible creative potential. And it's a practical program as well for anyone traveling anywhere around the world. Okay, we're almost done. Once it finishes compiling, what we'll do is take a look at that movie. Oh, yep, we want to see the movie. And let's put it right inside our window. There it is. Off to Venice. Obviously, it's playing right now in an HP Media Smart video player, but this can play within PowerPoint. It can play within your favorite movie playing program. And our final leg to Barcelona. And there you have it. A tutorial on how to produce movies using Google Earth Pro. I'm Michael Despezio, and thank you for joining me.